In this video, we're going to create a simple mobile application in Flipabit that will be integrated with Google Sheets. In this case, it's going to be an online store that sells vinyl records. We want our data to be stored in Google Sheets because it's easy to make changes within the spreadsheet, which are then immediately reflected in the app. Here, you can see the spreadsheet containing the data for the application. On the first tab is a catalog of albums for sale. It has categories like title, artist, description, and image. Also in the first column is the album ID, which we will need once we're ready to place an order. The second tab is where we will add rows of orders from our app. In addition to a name and an email address, each row should include the album ID from the first tab. Let's begin. Open Flip a bit and select iOS Master Detail from the Templates tab. First, we need to connect our Google Sheet. On the Databases tab, delete the existing spreadsheet. Click on Create and select Google Sheets. Paste the spreadsheet's URL here. If this is your first time connecting a Google spreadsheet, you will need to sign in. Once you've done that successfully, a list of tabs will appear. Select both tabs. For each tab, we need to select a column with an ID. For albums, it's the album ID. For orders, it's the order ID. Make sure the table contains the data. Now, let's start creating our app interface. On the first page, remove all of the widgets and rename it Albums. Let's add a spreadsheet widget. In the Database Inspector, connect the widget to the Albums spreadsheet. Now, let's customize the appearance in the Widget Inspector. Select the Card Layout and set it to three rows by two columns. Then, we choose the columns we want for our spreadsheet. Hold down the Control button and select Cover and Title. Expand the widget to full screen. Now, we increase the value of the text ratio. Reduce the font size. Rename the widget to Albums Table. Now, we will create our app's other screens. The next screen will display the details of the selected album. Let's add an image. Close the file selection window because we're going to be getting an image from the spreadsheet. In the database inspector, click Connect and link the image to the cover cell. Now, add the title text and link it to the title cell. Duplicate the widget and repeat these steps to display the artist and description. Please note that the text can be scrolled if it is larger than the widget. Now, let's add a checkout button. We'll set up the actions later. For now, we're going to finish making the rest of the screens. The next screen contains a form of entering data and submitting it to the Orders tab of the Google Spreadsheet. First, we add a text field for entering a name. Then, we duplicate it for entering an email address. Let's set up placeholders for these fields. Add a Send button that will open the next screen when clicked. This will just be a thank you screen with a single button for getting back to the home screen. Excellent. We have finished the interface, and now we can customize the actions. Open the album screen. Let's add a transition to the next screen for when an album is selected from the table. Right-click on the Albums Table widget to open the context menu and select Action. A panel for editing actions will open at the bottom. In the Event cell, select Current Index Changed. This event 
occurs each time a new item in the list is selected. In the Target cell, select Project. In the Action cell, select Go to Page. In the Action settings, select the Description screen. We also need to tell the widgets the selected album's number so that they can update their content. To do this, we're going to duplicate the action. In the Target cell, select the Cover widget and link its row ID to the selected album. We do the same thing with the rest of the widgets for the title, artist, and description. Let's make sure everything is correct by selecting any album in the list. As you can see, the data is correct. Now, add a transition to the order page when you click on the Buy button. Clicking the Send button here should take us to the Thank You page. We will add the data to the Google table later. Let's have the Home button take us back to the main screen when we click it. Now, we have to record the data to the Google table when an order is placed. Let's add a helper widget that will be linked to the orders table. This widget can be hidden because we're only using it to record data. Besides the user's name and email address, we also have to provide the album ID when placing an order. Let's add another helper widget for transferring the album ID from the main screen. Link the widget to the album ID cell. Add an action to tell the widget the row number in the table when an album is selected on the main page. To do this, duplicate the action for the description widget but just change the target value. Let's check it. The album ID successfully transfers over. Now, all we have to do is send the data to the Google spreadsheet. Let's add a new action to the Send button. In the Target cell, Select the Order Table Helper widget. Then, select the Query Begin action, which is what we use when we need to change multiple cells at the same time. In the Value field, select New Row. Duplicate it, and then select the Query field action, where we specify the column name and value. Get the value from the Album ID widget. Now, do the same thing for transferring names and email addresses. We need to add a query end action that will finish the recording of data to the table. Hide the helper widget. Everything should be ready now. Let's check. Start with the main screen. Select an album. Click Buy. Enter your name and email address. Now, place the order. The thank you screen opens. Everything is working as it should. But let's make sure the order was placed correctly in our Google table. We can see a new row here containing the order. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now you should easily be able to create your own app using Google Sheets.